Now, what's perceived by many as the must-have culture has been criticised this week by a leading headmaster who believes it's piling too much pressure on parents to spoil their children. Parents feel compelled to buy the latest gadgets and enrol their child in every after-school club to keep up with peers, according to Graham Gordon, chairman of the Independent Schools Association. So, is it time for parents just to put their foot down when it comes to just giving children everything they want? Yes, definitely. But it's so difficult. Because, you know, you, you know that they shouldn't have everything they ask for. And you know that, you know, we're not all made of money. And how many times you say money doesn't grow on trees? But it's just, it's so difficult when everyone else in the class has got something that, they, that, that your child covets. And then, you know, you find you might, it might be that your child is the only one that hasn't got it. I mean, you get these parents that actually make it awful for the rest of us because they raise the bar by having enormous birthday parties, buying their children everything. So when you say no to your child, you just look like a really mean parent. And so what you end up doing is you get like 20 times a day your kid going, can I have, can I have, can I have, can I have? And you're going, no, you can't, no, you can't, no, you can't. And then you end up like doing this on such a regular basis that you have to find some middle ground where you have to say, yes, you can have that, but you can't have that. Or you can have that if you do some washing this week, you know, like... <laughs> or or, or uh, well, Bo does a bit mm. of washing to get Aww. a bit of pocket money. Why don't you just say, no, don't ask me again? I have tried that, believe you me. I've said don't ask. Or, no, I say ask Paul, ask your dad. <laughs> and then he says that. ask your mum. And then his child's going around trying, <laughs> trying it with everybody. No, I just say yeah, no, you're don't not, ask so you're not, you're not practising what you're, you're preaching because at the beginning of that you said yes, definitely, I, it has to stop. It but, does. But you're not stopping, then you're making but excuses. But and actually what you're doing is blaming other parents <laughs> for buying their kids things no. and making your life difficult. And what you're saying no, actually they, is that what you want is an easy life. So you just say yes, no. when in actual fact, no. you should just say no. <laughs> no. They're children. No. You can't say no. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It's easy. Practice, look. No. It's impossible. It's actually... It's imp not it's impossible. It is. Though. It's, it's very, not. It, take it from me. It's really difficult when you... Especially in London, where children get given everything. They know designer so labels what? and stuff like that. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that you have to accept it because it's going on. What I'm saying is it becomes very much a part of your life whether you want it to or not. And to try and enforce... Yeah. The rules that I believe in, I don't believe that my kids should have everything, but it's impossible. You get worn down day in, day out. And also, I have to say, and, and I'm not proud of this, but, as a parent. but if you're in a car and you're going on a long journey, I'm the first person to say, have you got a DVD or something? Because we've got four hours in the car. I mean, you know, I know what did we used to do window. before we had all that. <laughs> <laughs> a ten-year-old child. trees and grass. Nice things, animals. No, a ten-year-old no. child will not look out the window for four hours and go moo moo cow and bar bar. Well, they used to. Not <laughs> they used to. And to be fair, Carol, how annoying was that? It's actually, it is. I mean, I, I, I do understand what you're oh, saying. It is, it is very, very difficult. And I was very lucky where I grew up. Um, it didn't, and also it was a different generation and different time as well. But I, I didn't grow up in this country, so you didn't have that the same pressure that I genuinely mm. think parents do have now. I mean, my mum made most of our clothes. We were just told, no, you can't have it. Mm -hmm, right then. So there wasn't really much point in asking. But I think when they know that you're just saying no rather than... And then you start you negotiating it. with them. No. It's no, the trouble is, I think the pressure on parents and children is exactly the same. They've got pressure at school. I mean, I don't think designer clothes should be allowed in schools, for instance. You know, I, I think that should be stopped. Yeah, trainers. And, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like the, it, Nothing like that should be allowed. And I, I think the pressure comes... I mean, we've, we've all done it. I did it. I did it with Keely. My mum did it with me. I had everything. But I think that, that you haven't got children, except Mark, of course, but that's a different thing. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but the thing is... <laughs> What it's like. You actually don't know what it's no, like I to have a child, but, yes. and you don't know what Doesn't situation. Doesn't mean to say I can't have a view on it because no, if I did have children, that's what I would be no, like. Absolutely, one hundred percent. There's no way of being negotiating with a young <laughs> little thing. Have you ever never <laughs> been <laughs> worn <laughs> down by? <laughs> supposing Mark wants to do something and he's really, really persistent, really, really persistent. He's not a child. <laughs> no, but, but, but he's a grown up. But and we somebody you know, but somebody you love and I you don't care have about. To negotiate with him. No, but someone you love and you care about comes to you. A small child and says, you know, I've got, everybody in my class has got one of these. It's impossible not to at least take it on board and think about ways that you can maybe meet them halfway, give them what they need, but also equally make them appreciate it. You do have to negotiate and you do have to find a middle ground. Mm. You can't be black and white with kids. You just I can't. I do think it starts from when they're very you young. You can't. You can't. I actually think it starts.
from oh, when they're very yeah. young. And I said it the other day, actually, uh, and I even said, Charlie, what you can't do, what we've got to stop doing with children is saying, what do you want to eat? Well, you can have this and you can have this and you can mm. have... You go... Don't... They don't ask you. No, what you you go, here's your tea. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's what you okay. Can I just say, here's your break. Like it or lump it, <laughs> we're going for one. Uh,